Hey guys, it's Savannah here with another deck reveal and review. This deck right here is one of the latest decks from Card Experiment, and this is the Babel deck right here. As we take a look at the box, you can tell that there's a lot of intricate pattern work and design on it. The entire box itself has um, metallic inks on it, and it looks really nice, but it's like a machinery, like, iron, wood type deal that's all combined together to create this really interesting looking box. On the side it says Babel Playing Cards, designed by Simon Prades, and there's like Roman numeral circles right here that look really nice, and then that metallic, and then that design from the front continues on to the sides as well. On the other side it says United States Playing Card Company and Made in the USA, and on the back you get a glimpse of the back design, which we'll get more into once we get inside the cards. On the bottom, you have a card experiment logo and some copyright information. And on the top, you just have that design continued on to even the flap right there and the side flaps of the cards. So now let's check out the cards themselves and take a look at the back design. This back design right here is definitely very cohesive and intertwined and really goes well with the front of the box and the box design itself. It's like a wood interwoven type deal into this really interesting back design. You see it incorporates those Roman numeral like circles that are on the actual um, box itself right there. And this definitely looks really cool. It has elements of dark brown and grays and silvers and blacks. And it definitely looks really nice and it works really well with the box and makes a really cohesive unit. So as we continue, let's check out the two jokers in the box right here. These are probably some of the coolest looking jokers I've seen in a deck of cards. You can tell how much effort was put into these cards and how intricate the design on them are. This is a worker. He has a, a wrench in his hand right there and he's just working outside. And then the other joker is a man in a uh, suit and he has a cane right there. And it's just very two different opposite ends of the spectrums on the Jokers, and they definitely are very opposite of each other, but they are very connected by the way the design looks and how intricate it is. And as we continue, we can check out the promo card that comes with the deck, and then a double-backed card. With this deck, this there's a little bit of a story that goes along with it. It's inspired by the story of the Tower of Babel. Um, the Babel deck exploits the intricate interplay between geometrical figures to symbolize the struggle between the different social classes, a struggle that is characterized by conflicting collective goals. So as you can see with the Jokers, they're definitely on two opposite ends of the spectrum, and throughout the entire box, and the backs of the cards, and even onto the actual cards themselves, you can see those geometric figures and kind of a clash between the opposites. And it definitely was portrayed very well through this deck. So was, as we continue, we can check out the Ace of Spades. This Ace of Spades right here um, brings about a design that's on the front of the box right there, as you can see with the V and the circle. It brings together those geometric shapes and those elements that are intertwined and interwoven between each other, and it definitely looks really go good, and it definitely goes really well with the rest of the deck. It's a very cohesive unit, this deck is, and I really like that about it. And at the bottom, it says Babel. Next, we're going to check out the King, the Queen, and the Jack of Spades right here. All the court cards have a standard look to them, but they are custom in which there's a color change, and then there's like soot spots or stains added in the back. And as you notice, none of these court cards have mouths. So all the mouths are erased away and it's just a white blank surface. These definitely look really cool and add to like the geometric and dark colors that the entire, the rest of the deck is going for. As we take a look through the rest of the cards right here, um, you'll notice that the pips and everything are very custom. The actual symbols on the cards have a, like, varying in the color. It, like, kind of swaps to different colors, as you can see right there. And even on the blacks, it has a fade, and, and each card is different in its own respect, and each one of the symbols is different in its own respect as well. And that definitely looks really cool, and it's even on the court cards, like so. And this brings us to a good point with the aces. Each ace has this geometrical figure shape, just like on the uh, ace of spades, except it just doesn't 
have the card's name at the bottom. This deck was printed on an aristocrat stock with magic finish. Um, there were 3,500 of these decks made, uh, and they definitely hold up very nicely. I really like the way this deck feels. It handles really great. It holds up well. I've used this deck quite a bit, and it definitely holds up to all the wear and tear that I like to give on a deck of cards, especially before I review it. I use most of my decks extensively, and you'll notice that most of my deck reviews come out about a month or so after the decks come out, just because I want to be able to fully assess the deck on how it really feels over time, and not just kind of put up a quick review. Overall, I really like this deck. I think the images and the design and the story behind the deck uh, they all tie in very well with the colors, the shapes, the geometric figures, the struggle between the s different social classes. I think it's very evident throughout the deck, especially in the jokers and the back and in the actual box design itself. I think it all adds in to one very nice looking, feeling, and handling deck of cards. So this overall deck I would have to give a 5 out of 5. For the stock, the stock is great. Aristocrat stock on a magic finish is probably one of the best combinations you can use for a deck of cards, and I've said that in many other reviews as well. The stock feels great, it works well with the finish, and it definitely holds up well over time. It doesn't degrade easily at all. It definitely works with pharaohs and everything else that you might want to do to the deck, and I just think it holds up very nicely. So the stock of this deck, I would have to give a 5 out of 5. I think the look of this deck is a very cohesive looking deck of cards. Everything ties in together and it looks great. These jokers are just fantastic looking. The art artsmanship on these are just great. And I really enjoy this deck of cards just from the look itself. I think it brings together a lot of custom ability and it shows how much time and effort was put in to make this deck look really great. So the look of this deck I would have to give a 5 out of 5. Now for the handling and feel of this deck, as I said before, it's an aristocrat stock on a magic finish so it handles very well and definitely holds up well over time. I really enjoy um, using this deck. I just think it it works well, everything works together, the design to the handling and all that good stuff. And it just holds up very well over time. So the handling and feel, I would have to give a 4 out of 5. So thank you guys so much for watching this deck reveal and review of the newest card experiment deck, the Babel deck. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and learned a little bit of info about this deck. If you guys would like to check out all my links, they're down below as normal. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everything is right down there and ready for you guys to check out. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and bearing with my video schedule posting. And if you like this deck, I definitely recommend it to anyone who would like to get it. And so, again, thank you guys so much. And look for more videos coming your way real soon. And I will see you guys next time.